welcome to sharepoint journey this is devendra veligendla in this lesson you will learn how to develop visual web parts using visual studio 2013 in sharepoint 2013 basically the visual web parts has been introduced in sharepoint 2010 to avoid or simplify the complex ui development of while developing the web parts in this video we are going to see simple example of creating a visual web part which will display the list details so let's go ahead and open the visual studio so this is our visual studio and let's create a project for uh, to create the visual web part so to create a new project click on file new project and under share part solutions select empty project so let's call this project as ticket info because we are going to display the ticket details in the visual web part okay. let's click ok and uh, here it will ask on which site we are going to debug it is going to be SP journey if you want to validate whether that site is working or not so you can click on validate okay so if the site is available it will show the connection is successful yeah the connection is successful now we are going to deploy this one as a sandbox solution so leave that option as it is and click on finish it's creating a project now And meanwhile, let me open the site where this is the uh, ticket details list which we have in our site where the title is showing a value of various type of uh, issues in the share pipe. So we are going to display these details in a simple drop down box. Once the user click on the button, these details will get displayed in the drop down box. So let's go ahead and open the visual studio again. Uh, the project has been created and check the properties of this particular project and in this particular project the active deployment configuration is default now we are going to change this one to no activation the purpose of changing this one is whenever you deploy the WSP all the features of this particular solution will not get activated so you need to go and activate it manually and if you see the property of sandbox solution that is true now to add a visual web part to this empty project right click on the solution click on add click on new item and choose a visual web part nothing has been mentioned here so that means this web part is for sandbox solution if you want to have a web part for form solution you can choose the below one so right now I'm going to choose a visual web part for sandbox solution I'll name this one as ticket details okay. click on add to add this visual web part to our project so once this got added okay we have a code snippet for uh, ASPX file and the CS file so this ASPX file doesn't have man, much information so it's a simple drop down box on the button ID so let's go ahead and add them Let's add the user control code here. And get the code for CS file as well. I'm still processing of copying the details. has been copied now 
So let's go ahead and open the code behind of this. I have copied the CS file details and couple of namespaces using system dot data is one and system dot Microsoft dot SharePoint. Okay. Now let's try to build it once. We'll start it. See the output window. Build a succeed. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see what is there in the user control. So we have a drop down box and a button. So whenever user clicks on this button, the details will get populated to this drop down list. And if you go and see the CS in the data table, we are getting item details. If I go to the item details method, we are creating the context of the current web and once we have that web we are getting a list of ticket details and once we have those item details we are returning the data table from that it's very basic example so let's go ahead and deploy this and keep an eye on output window while deploying this solution so uh, okay do you want to overwrite yes if you see here the same type of solution is already available so it's deactivating that feature first then it is retracting the solution and deleting the solution now adding the solution again and deploying it and after that it hasn't done anything because it is keeping the deployment step because of active deployment configuration we have set a new activation now what we have to do is to get this web port available we have to go to site collection level features because if we go to our feature one this is corporate site level that means site collection feature always web ports will get deployed to site collection level feature okay. so let's go ahead to the site collection level features and activate the feature our feature is ticket info feature one let's activate this okay verify that whether the feature got activated yes activated successfully now we have a page here for a visual web part okay let's open that edit the page and clean this old web part now let's go ahead and insert the a new web part which we have created okay And if you see here, there are a lot of other web parts while testing I have de developed it. So now we need to check which one is the correct one. So let's go back to the solution. Check the ticket details dot web part file and see the name ticket info ticket details. So this is the web part which we need to add it. So let's go back to the site. Now this is the web part which we need to add. Click on add to add the web part which you have just developed okay and save the page now whenever click on this particular button the drop down is going to populate the list details so, so just waiting yeah you can see here the details of list is getting displayed in a drop down so it's very basic example of getting the list details using visual web port which is of sandboxed 
time now there will there won't be any files which are in the solution and this sandbox solution got deployed to the solution gallery so you can go to site settings and check under solutions gallery so you can see here this got deployed to the solution gallery so you can activate it deactivate it and that can be applicable to only this particular site collection so that is the advantage of a sandbox solutions okay i hope this session helps to learn about developing visual reports in sharepoint 2013 using visual studio 2013 thanks for your time we'll see you in next lesson